morning professor i think we can start now Yes, sir. Uh, good morning. We can start now. We have enough sir, time. Just, and time just two, hmm? two minutes, sir. Just two minutes, sir. Just two minutes, sir. Our HOD is on, my sir. Good morning to one and all uh, being present in this program. On behalf of the management of Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, and on behalf of the Department of Civil Engineering, and on my own behalf as a coordinator, it's my privilege to welcome you all for this webinar uh, session, which is titled on Current Trends in Building Construction. Now I request our beloved HOD, Dr. K. Akil Madam, to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest and deliver the welcome address. Thank you, Vivek. Yes, ma'am. Happy, happy morning and warm greetings to all. Uh, I take immense pleasure in welcoming you all to this webinar on current trends in building construction organized by the Department of Civil Engineering of Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore, in association with the ICT student chapter of this institution. The latest construction industry statistics show a boom in sustainable sector. And new technology is continuing to change the construction site, improve the ability of a winning project and increase profit margins. Acceleration technology are introducing an extensive digital transformation in the construction industry. And today, there are numerous examples of how a technology is bringing a revolution in this industry. Technologies such as artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, appreciate the construction by driving away the standing efficacies and low productivity. And some trend will be impacting the construction technology in the UK. Uh, building information model, more prefabrication, modularization, and eco friendliness, self healing concrete, and cloud collaboration instruction projects, to name a few. And with these few words, take immense pleasure welcoming the distinguished guest of the day who comes with a wealth of knowledge and experience, Dr. Colonel P. Nalatambi, social consultant from Chennai. He has profound experience in designing of government, public, and private buildings along the length and breadth of the country. He completed his graduation in civil engineering from College of Engineering in the Anna University, post graduate in construction engineering from Government College of Technology, Ambitore, and PhD from College of Engineering in the Anna University. He joined the Indian Army in 1988 and was commissioned into Corps of Engineers. After a year of training in Indian Military Academy, Dehradun, he has served subsequently in Punjab, Jihad, Rajasthan, West Bengal, and Assam border areas, 
and took active part in many of the Indian Army, including IPF in Sri Lanka. In bridge and combat engineering research. Gained rich experience in traffic execution, project management, and structural design of various civil works while working in military engineering service for nine years. He has also been teaching in uh, College of Military Engineering for about uh, three years. And he also provides training to young engineers to design cost estimation and project execution site. After completing 21 years of army service, he started his own civil and construction consultancy office in 2009. He has performed many RCC and steel challenging designs and certified stability of many special structures all over India. He is a member of many technical institutions and has actively participated in all the activities. He also writes articles on a regular basis in magazines and shares this valuable experience which he has gained in the construction industry. And we are extremely happy and privileged to have you today with us, sir. And I would like you to share your expertise and knowledge with all the young budding engineers of our institution and all the active participants who have joined us from different institutions across the country. And once again, I deem it my privilege and honor to welcome you to this one day webinar on current trends in building uh, construction. And I also welcome all the participants who have joined us today. Hope you have a wonderful day ahead with a lot of inputs from our resource person. Thank you. And sir, please take the session forward, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Professor. And uh, thank you for your uh, elaborate introduction about me. And uh, uh, I am very privileged to deliver a webinar today. And I uh, thank uh, Dr. Vivek for inviting me and organizing and coordinating for last one week to make it this program as successful. Uh, again, good morning to one and all viewers. I will present my uh, PPT. Good morning, one and all. Can you see my uh, presentation? Yes, Hello? sir. It's visible, no, sir. sir. Yes, Can you sir. See me? Before I want to confirm, last time uh, it, uh, I had a problem. If anything slide not changing, kindly call me. Otherwise, it will go uh, without any notice of mine. Okay. Uh, good morning, all of you. Uh, today, I am going to talk about current trends in building construction. Uh, we have been witnessing many construction activities as a student, as a staff, and uh, as a builder, everyone. And uh, the uh, uh, construction activity has been changing over the past five decades. So let us quickly uh, update our uh, information on uh, various construction activities happening all around. My lecture is going to just highlight those things. Otherwise, each one activities of a one lecture, I deliver so many lectures on each particular topic. But today, I am being a first year to final year and staff. I am not going to discuss in uh, elaborate details in each point. But uh, somewhat I will cover to understand every uh, students attending this webinar. Okay, let me move on to the thing. Uh, civil engineering is the mother of all engineering and is the oldest and other engineering branches of from it. Any other mechanical, electrical, they all came from civil engineering. And civil engineering is related to every aspect of human life. It deals with very large field for improvement of society basic needs. They work to improve the service and facilities 
that general people use their everyday life so it is a basically to upbringing of the society and solve the problems of uh, uh, many issues for the public this is our uh, uh, bread and butter our backbone of engineering to contribute to the society civil engineering made huge contribution to the society by developing the infrastructure and giving shape to the nation so nation gdp is depend upon the number of developments that do by civil engineers the contribution is respected by all but the nature of job is difficult whether it is sun rain or even the difficult climate we have to execute the uh, construction work that is very challenging so we need to keep calm uh, and uh, trust the civil engineer that they will execute it in a very recordable time and i think of civil engineering when i completed in 1985 i thought that civil engineering has got nothing much to do all our standard uh, some building construction only but today the civil engineering is uh, beyond anybody's imagination it is not the bricks and mortar it is something uh, you can compete with the electronics engineering development in civil engineering field that kind of a development taking place in all over the world uh civil engineering are the creators as according to hindu mythology the brahma the creator vishnu the preserver shiva the destroyer the best creator next to god are civil engineers they have created so many things it is beyond the uh, god can imagine that kind of a development taking place our creations can be viewed from the uh, very high point even from the space the human first creativity started as civil engineer so we should be proud of being a civil engineer we should not uh, compare with others and we have to excel put your mind and soul into the engineering field and you can always develop a, a very uh, uh, satisfying field by uh, adopting the civil engineering as your uh, bread and butter there are so many excellent creations were made by uh, civil engineers all over the world they are high highlighted here when you think of the basic requirement for a human being the water energy food health education road rail airport or ship uh, transportation sanitation housing infrastructure job dis uh, disaster relief if you think of any field without civil engineering support it cannot be done the basic uh, uh, accommodations and roads and other things need to be developed before they can start uh, working on the uh, their activity so we need to house that one and the equipments need to be housed and all facilities has to be created so that is the thing which been uh, supported by the civil engineering so what is the development in construction industry the construction industry for the past 50 years it has been working heavily on Uh, manual labor mechanical method and adopt established operation and business model the same way it was continued because the scale was less as a result productivity has been staggered and revenue generation was not adequate the only reason past new innovative materials advanced construction and digital technologies automation have begun in the construction industry because the people aspirations are different we need to meet their aspirations speed quality and economy gradually made changes in infrastructure real estate and other building assets in the area of design construction operation and maintenance therefore the new technology including building information modeling prefabrication digital technologies 3d printing and automated and robotic equipment this kind of a new technology influenced the most the entire in the uh, industry therefore the new technology development Uh, satisfy the demand of uh, the uh, our consumer fast cheap quality and modern construction building and infrastructure so therefore we need to develop lot of innovations which improve the company's productivity sustainability and redefine the skills and competency of the workforce so this is a way the uh, entire uh, industry has been moved from the past working culture to the new working culture in the think of the evolution of residential construction when the human being uh, started long back they were using the tree branches you 
huge stone slabs, bones, and even animal hide out were occupied as a habitat. The subsequently, his ingenuity, he started building small, small uh, uh, houses, which may be made up of a thatched roof with a stone wall or a, a mud floor. Subsequently, available resources made with the bamboos and the bamboo wall without foundations, mud floor. Then we created a clay tiles with the tile roof, stone wall and foundation and uh, cement and mud floors. He has created, moved to the next level. Subsequently, last three, four decades, the RCC frame structures become very common with the brickwork, RCC floor, glazed tiles. Even uh, recent past two decades, the steel buildings become very common and with the RCC foundation, brickwork, and mezzanine floors, glazed tiles, multi-story uh, uh, PEV buildings. Now, people are looking for a very luxurious home in, uh, as an advancement in the house with the swimming pool, gymnasium, home theater and stone wall claddings, glazed tile floors, like a very attractive looking and pleasing buildings have been constructed. Let us think what is going to be the next. The next is the smart and intelligent building. What is mean by smart and intelligent building? As a building is not no more is a dump one. You, you are not constructing with the foundation and uh, uh, number of floors with the brick and mortar or roof, uh, concrete slab. We are adding a lot of eyes and ears to the building so that it can respond to your request. So then starting from technical services, energy information management, water management, and uh, indoor air quality, smoke control, lighting control, HVAC management, fire detection and alarm, security access, digital videos, intrusion of deductions, environment control, mechanical maintenance, like many aspects have been incorporated through networking. You can operate it from your uh, mobile anywhere in the world and you can find out what is happening inside your house. You can uh, operate your geyser, operate your air conditioner, operate your lighting with remote control. If anybody of your guests want to get into the house, you can open the door from remote places. Those kind of uh, a lot many uh, facilities have been added into the building through a lot of networking or internet of things which made the building become smart and intelligent. So whenever you think of any changes or, uh, in the construction industry, the many factors are influencing the resource available locally and the construction material that will become cheaper and you can adopt it quickly. There are a lot of construction methods and technologies have been innovatively adopted and keep on changing. So we have to uh, quickly get into those technology and adopt it. The modern equipment and machineries, so many machineries and robotics, uh, robots have come up in construction industry. Day by day, our uh, manpower uh, requirements are, uh, man, skilled manpower is are not, not available and becoming a problem in construction industry. It has been uh, overcome by introducing modern equipment and machineries. And even with the uh, available human resource, we need to provide a training and improve their skills. The environmental and sustainability become a major issues because the environment and the earth is surface is same and the resources uh, available is uh, constant, but we uh, exploit it in a very drastic manner that cause a lot of uh, in environmental imbalance and causing uh, the so uh, a lot of uh, drought and uh, uh, heat or a uh, lot many other issues are developing. We need to take care of the environment as our friend and uh, uh, accordingly we use the material judiciously and finally the digital technology and communications have drastically changed over uh, after 2000 it has gone into the nook and corner and it has been uh, drastically affecting the constructions but lot of benefits have been derived out of digital technology before getting into that the one term called disruptive technologies that means sirvulaikum technology what is mean by disruptive technology it is a method or system or device that sweeps away the existing system lifestyle or habit and it replaces because it has visibly superior authority 
the new technology has come into the uh, society and totally uh, taken a different direction about from the uh, previous technologies it is an innovative and significantly alter the, the public or consumer choice industry product business operation recent uh, disruptive technology examples are e-commerce online news sites uh, the uh, on uh, ride sharing apps like ola uber and the gps systems uh, in the other way the automobile banking medical education food supply mobile internet and televisions are current disruptive technologies today i am speaking on webinar uh, through uh, online it is a disruptive technology when the regular lectures being conducted and in spite of that uh, we are going for online lectures and future maybe this kind of a frequent lectures is going to be totally taken off from the regular method so this is in a disruptive uh, technology the uber and ola swiggy and zomato google pay and paytm these are the example for disruptive to taxi hotel and banking business therefore any startup people can create a, a, a some kind of a technology which is not thought of by uh, earlier but it may even affect the established uh, big industrial person also so there is no limit no obstacle is so big that one person with determination cannot make a difference j summit so you tomorrow after your education you can start up and create an uh, some kind of a disruptive technologies which can take your totally lead and more success in your life so when you come to the building construction the disruptive technologies are composite construction with steel and concrete precast and pre stressing in mass housing auto climbing and myvon farm work system and self compacting concrete rmc batching plant tower grain static boom use in construction pre engineering building using high strength steel 3d concrete printed houses digital technologies so each one like a bim or uh, any other uh, softwares used all are some kind of a disruptive technologies adopted in construction industry so what is the current scenario of construction industry as i said past we were going for a smooth uh, with the local laborers and local material we start constructing a small scale houses but today the uh, technology has been changed the number of floors have been increased the speed quality and the uh, cost is going to be the main factors the construction industry undergoing the changes to meet the aspiration of people increase speed quality and cost cutting every day people come to me as a structural consultant i want my design to be completed in two days so that kind of the urge or the expectation if i don't provide then they will go to somebody else so like that if you can't construct a building in short duration they will not come to you they take your reputation and your capacity and then only engage so accordingly we need to improve our uh, speed quality and uh, cost automation contribution large extent to improve design and engineering process procurement and supply chain management on site ex execution and reskilling the workforces so it is automation is a part of our construction industry earlier the uh, car manufacturing or any other electronics manufacturing only thought of automation today you can construct a whole building and move and fix it at your location that kind of automation is uh, getting involved that in next 10 uh, 20 years you you are not going to construct it at a site so you build it and uh, transport it wherever required the application of handle smart mobile instrument have brought monumental change in the way of common people so when you think of your mobile uh, your uh, desktop has gone laptop is uh, getting uh, uh, changed uh, everything come into your handheld mobile you can control the data through cloud and you can use it wherever you are there and uh, your morning got up and you seeing the uh, mail and all information through your mobile so the mobile is the uh, one which brought monumental change to the society now the construction material apps like a, a zomato or uh, any other food products uh, you just uh, put it and that will be served to you like all your construction materials can be purchased online and uh, trucks and plant apps are used to convey materials and uh, ticking so all your requirements can be met through app 
and it is brought into your uh, doorstep you can always uh, use it as required and enjoy the facilities smart cash on board tracking route map traffic density these all the used to exchange money and material in the industry so no more of you are issuing check and uh, waiting for the check to credit all those things it is a fast transaction of the cash and the fast movement of the material it makes the construction faster with that technology we have to change ourselves to adopt it we cannot say that i don't know i, I am not used to it it is the technology really going to change the construction industry or people need to change it to adopt it the first phase is out of question the changes are inevitable it is keep uh, uh, undergoing lot of changes but as a engineer civil engineer or you are even the teaching we keep updating the knowledge and informations and it has to reach down to the level of mason carpenter level and it has to be quickly adopt to the new environment new situation new technology adoption of new innovative technology is possible only by change of people perception and culture of the society those are convinced of new technology earlier the old people they are very reluctant to change the new technology if today we don't apply it you are out of uh, the field so like you are if you are not applying the new technology or the latest uh, technology of webinars and other things you are out of uh, uh, race there are always scientists and researchers coming with brilliant ideas but how culturally people embedded the technology and get benefited into the business make the difference so there is a problem so the uh, people getting adopted is again the question uh, but it is slowly slowly changing earlier they were totally 100% reluctant to adopt now they are melting and uh, getting into the new technologies faster but even then unlike in the mobile or any electronic technology the people quickly changing it the uh, construction industry takes a lot of time to change into the new technology but uh, this is a way by then the new technology comes the old technologies become obsolete so we need to update our knowledge in a reasonable time currently the most significant change comes in the cultural shift and bring all closer together and make the world connected your tv ad newspaper ad or the interpersonal uh, information exchange on mobile those things are become powerful to convince a person to use a new technology let us move on to the practical uh, practices in recent constructions the earlier in the multi story building up to four floor you can use the uh, load bearing walls use of bricks and as per is 456 Uh, subsequently the frame structure concept has developed in rcc slab beam column foundation in low rise building like uh, uh, g plus uh, 3 something like that subsequently the construction method of multi story residential building more than 10 floors is uh, uh, different from construction of low rise building g plus 3 structures the land cost become a an uh, issue in chennai and all land cost is going to be very high so number of floors we need to go is become a essential so the construction uh, method or the practice is slightly different from the construction of lower uh, story buildings let us think of what is the difference Mo mostly the car parks are planned in the basement of the on the ground floor sometimes double basement or triple basements are considered in a, uh, a, a high rise building like the 10 story house need to be accommodated below there is no other space available the car park needs larger gap for maneuvering the car in the basement so your residential buildings will have a column and beams are smaller uh, but in the car park area is become wider and uh, space is uh, inadequate if you provide the same column beam arrangement in the top floors so we need to separate the uh, basement with the uh, uh, typical floors so how you uh, separate like you are putting a raft slab at the bottom and raising the column similarly there is another thick floor equivalent to raft slab as a podium or above the uh, basement which will allow the column or uh, column to raise from there even the wall can raise from that kind of a slab that is called transverse uh, slabs the thickness is 4 feet so or 
you provide a transfer girders uh, very uh, deep beams and which are going to take the rest of the floor load into that that transfer to the bottom columns which are uh, separated in a larger distance for maneuver of the cars in the car park area or the uh, uh, basement area these uh, priorities by interior walls rc wall and slab without columns are uh, made in the typical floors since the large area and post tensioning is adopted with the 250 mm thick and uh, without any uh, beams which looks very attractive and uh, looks very so uh, smooth and internal partitioning can be created using the uh, panel boards or the interiors which makes that you are not in a uh, big big uh, concrete uh, uh, element Okay. Therefore, the column sizes are ranging from 900 by 900 to 1200 by 1200, depends upon the uh, uh, spacing of the uh, floor uh, column spacings. Even uh, outer column, outer uh, side only columns are provided in steel or concrete. That's called diagrids, which I will be explaining subsequently. This is the arrangement made in the uh, taller buildings, which become more spacious. more uh, uh, room heads and uh, looks very uh, simple less weight all of this uh, properties are uh, uh, taken care this is one of the uh, example for rcc wall and slab construction uh, you can see the how the reinforcements are tied for the wall when the openings are provided and the uh, roof, uh, above this roof slab you can have a rc wall uh, reinforcements did the wall and uh, slab uh, constructed uh, using the aluminium formwork this kind of a finished product you can agree is a smooth very uh, aesthetically good looking rc wall and slab constructions so with that uh, the monolithic constructions this called shear wall and floor slab uh, shear wall thickness varying from 5 inches to 8 inches slab thickness varying from Uh, 5 inches to 6 inches myvan farmer technology and floor to floor cycle is uh, 7 to 10 days and self combating concrete is used with the opc and ppc uh, in, in issue in, incorporated the concrete floor to the shear wall up to 3 meter depth so there is no second pouring at one time the complete wall up to 3 meter or 3.6 meter and the slab everything is casting is completed at one go the vertical form works removed after one or two days and the horizontal form works are removed within 3 4 days and the total uh, cycle for the floor to floor is taken 7 days at the maximum 10 days no plastering of wall is required once the uh, 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 form works is removed your building is ready only tiling and uh, the putty uh, and you put the white wash or color wash is required so that that quickly you can construct the building that is the recent trends when you construct come to the materials we generally use ordinary portland cement and uh, now not that ordinary portland cement is fully used of course we need to use this opc but along with ppc and pac or silica fumes let me just simply explain what is this opc one should not think opc chemical form you just think that it has got lime it has got sand it has got clay these are the three main ingredients the lime has got 62% and the sand the normal river sand that is 22% clay soil that is clay 5% gypsum and others this is the basic material when they manufacture the cement they convert this uh, the basic uh, elements are in the form of calcium oxide silicon dioxide aluminum these are the forms available they prepare the cement and convert this basic oxide elements to c3s tricalcium silicate dicalcium silicate calcium aluminate tetracalcium aluminum fluoride these four forms were created so that become a cement components so the when you see the uh, c3s and c2s these are the ranges from 35 to 50 c2s 30 to 40 c3s 5 to 12 c4s 6 to 12 gypsum like that so this is the proportion once you put the water into the cement the it forms csh gel and calcium hydroxide so your cement is going to be uh, added water that is hydraulic cement 
once water is added the gel is formed it liberates calcium hydroxide so this is the basic equation for uh, creation of gel and uh, calcium uh, hydroxide so once this calcium uh, gel is formed and uh, balance 49% of the uh, ca calcium hydroxide in c3s and c2s 22 uh, parts so these are called uh, unwanted or uh, this is causing soundness chemical attack to compensate this fly ash as slag is added so this c3h has to be consumed otherwise it will become a uh, very uh, undesirable components in the concrete so how to eliminate this c2h when you add fly ash up to 20% or uh, the silica uh, ggbs that can react with the uh, calcium hydroxide and uh, chloride will cause corrosion the calcium hydroxide react with the silica uh, in uh, fly ash that become against csh gel so your gel content is going to be more and which cause uh, more dense durable good quality of concrete so if you uh, only use opc about 30 to 35% of uh, coh is uh, liberated which will harm the concrete cause allow the concrete to corrode faster or chloride content can increase in, uh, ingress into the concrete so these are the problems in opc and uh, that can be eliminated by fly ash that is a fly ash f has got a less calcium oxide more silica which silica will react with the calcium hydroxide and form uh, csh gel so that way your uh, calcium hydroxide fully utilized but at the same time you cannot uh, totally replace the uh, silica uh, fly ash with the cement because it has got less calcium oxide so that alone will not be sufficient you can only utilize the liberated calcium hydroxide and make use of it for forming gels so only 15 to 20% can be mixed this mixing of fly ash everybody ask me sir can i use uh, ppc that is it good for uh, construction we always recommend and say that it is good this will uh, uh, in any uh, adverse environment this will give durability and uh, less corrosion and it will give better workability all kind of a good properties can be achieved but at the same time one has to think it takes more time for attaining the initial strength and uh, uh, you cannot replace totally 15 to 20% only you can replace the fly ash and i come back to the slag cement this is called ground granulated blast furnace slag that is ggbs this is a waste from any uh, prepare when you are extracting the uh, steel from the uh, iron ore the waste materials called slag so th those slags the property if you see it has got a 45% of calcium oxide unlike our 63% in uh, opc so this is uh, having a more calcium oxide at the same time it has got silicon dioxide so this consumes the calcium hydroxide from the PPC, opc also a form a very good gel so because it is having a more calcium oxide you can replace the quantity from 50 to 70% with the opc and uh, with the waste material can be converted into useful material at the same time it improve the workability and improve the compressive strength reduce permeability and uh, alkali silica reaction improve durability and resilience so slag cement is another jsw is pr producing slag cements so th uh, these cements are another good material to use so whenever you are making high strength concrete along with opc it is become a necessity to use slag cement or Uh, ppc to reduce the heat of hydration and improve the uh, density and durability the third material is micro silica that is micro means 10 to the power minus 6 meter your silica is sand a crushed sand or the converted sand into very powder nature is called micro silica it is a mineral admixture composed of very fine solid glassy spheres of silicon dioxide it is the particle size of 1 micron and generally 50 to 100 times finer than the cement or fly ash particle added to concrete at the at around 30 kg per meter cube or the 10% to improve the concrete strength durability and impermeability 
again it has got the same property silica is from 92 to 97% and all other uh, cement ingredients are very less so your uh, silica will react with the calcium hydroxide and improve the and uh, convert it into calcium uh, chs gel so that is the idea of using it so your entire uh, chs is consumed and become a denser durable strong and uh, uh, in all properties as uh, enhanced using uh, micro silica silica fumes so when we use uh, high rise building or uh, we need three type of concrete required one is all type high performance concrete so uh, high strength is one of the performance but there are other performance requirements are high workability pumpability durability high early strength high ultimate strength low heat of hydration low water shimmer ratio so these all the different properties are required for a concrete to incorporate in a uh, building to reduce the cycle time increase the strength and uh, become a more durable all these things are achieved by the performance setting self combat self consolidation toughness impact resistance volume stability or the high performance concrete the sample uh, example of water shimmer ratio 0.3 and the durable uh, minimum durability factor 80% early strength 20 mp in 4 hours and 35 mp in 24 hours and 60 mp in 28 hours because this high early strength is required to remove the form works so that you can move up to the next level so this kind of a uh, defining performance in the concrete which help the construction to become a uh, more uh, quick and uh, uh, the lot of uh, other benefits are achieved suppose you are having uh, 100 uh, floors construction you cannot take 100 months to complete it that takes so long time to uh, think of the uh, project come to the true so we need to make any other technologies like high performance concrete technology to make it faster and uh, achieve the uh, construction in quicker way the other one is uh, high strength concrete this is as good as the high performance the one of the high performance concrete the high strength concretes are 40 to 100 the ultra high strength is under to 150 mpa if it more than 150 mpa as so special concretes even the laboratories have produced this uh, 480 mpa that the steel is 250 to 415 500 550 your concrete is almost equal to steel strength so benefits it put into the use faster and build a high rise building reducing column size because of the high strength your size of the member become less to build the super structure long span structures like a bridge structure or building you have you can go up to 10 to 15 meter span in each uh, building or in the bridges you can go up to the uh, 70 meter to 100 meter span also possible with the high strength concrete and to satisfy the specific need of special such as durability modulus of elasticity flexure etc how do we get this strength using strong and durable aggregate high cementitious ratio 500 600 kg uh, low water cement ratio uh, as low as possible 0.2 to 0.35 high dense material like uh, uh, iron uh, fibers and uh, the very durable uh, uh, content of uh, aggregate this all makes the uh, high strength concrete possible Use higher small aggregate and low paste volume in the cement. The third one, which I was telling, bulk and slab construction. Maybe you can construct a uh, mywan form or slab and bulk constructions. So it flows on its own weight and fill every corner of the form work. You don't have to vibrate it, passing through every restricted uh, space of congested reinforcement without any segregation and. Uh, compact it self without any external vibration it has got a filling ability passing ability segregation resistance these all has to be tested and uh, adopted the advantages of this uh, allows lighter and more slender member fast construction reduce form work equipment cost less manpower improved durability and good structural performance homogeneity of hardened self combating concrete is better than conventional concrete whether it is a little more costly 10 to 15% now the requirement for a multi story building with more than 10 floors this technology is commonly adopted all over the countryside and uh, it become a, a very uh, essential uh, to know 
I have designed a building for about uh, G plus nine for the central government uh, PWD. Uh, they are now insisting any one of the new technology has to be adopted in the construction. The responsibility is given to the builder. They have to uh, make ten listed technology out of which one any one technology has to be adopted and construct the building. So they are looking for new new uh, ventures to exploit what is the uh, efficient uh, construction technology for the uh, application so that they can save the money. As I just mentioned earlier, the bottom floor, the basement is uh, a larger column area. The upper floors are having a closer column. So you are already having a uh, rough slab from the columns are em uh, emerged. And the top, maybe 1 to 1.2 meter, the RC slab, which will allow the column to raise from the uh, that level. That is the transfer slab. If the beam that if you don't want the slab, you can have a beams. That's called transfer beams. Many times your bottom will be different and top will be different. So you cannot have a continuity column from bottom to top. So this kind of a, a different uh, slab thickness at different level, which can make the uh, construction possible for a, uh, a different uh, column to column spaces. This is the uh, uh, idea behind constructing the uh, very different uh, uh, floor, floor uh, variations. So when I think of shear wall, it has got uh, two aspects. One is called uh, the wall uh, bending in plane, one is bending out of plane. So the wall of uh, out of plane bending is easy. And but in plane bending, take your notebook. If you bend it in a uh, other direction, it will easily bend. If you bend it in a uh, that width wise, it difficult to bend. That is called out of plane bending. Uh, and uh, in the in, uh, sorry, in plane bending and out of plane bending. So one has to think how we can rigidly increase the uh, uh, stiffness of the building using shear walls. You have to provide a shear wall into which direction you want to increase the stiffness and along that direction we have to provide. When length of the column element is more than four times, it become a RC wall. Now, though the RC wall behavior is similar to column, but it has got a different uh, buckling effect and other uh, effect on the uh, wall. RC walls are considered for retaining earth, lift wall, sump, etc. However, it has been used for uh, tall buildings. The plane bending moment means plate bends in one plane, such as shear wall with the horizontal and vertical forces applied in the plane and produce plate bending elements. The load acting perpendicular to the wall due to wind or any earthquake loads is an out of plane bending. Similarly, self weight of the roof supported on the side walls is the perpendicular effect in plane bending along the axis of wall. So one has to clearly understand what is in-plan bending, what is out of plan bending, how I should place my shear wall to resist in an uh, in-plan uh, bending action so that my rigidity of the building is increased. So this is another way when it deflects, it got shear as well as the bending effect and uh, the diaphragm actions are different. When you connect a shear wall with the slab and uh, you can surprisingly come to know the lot of forces are equally distributed so that unlike your beam and wall uh, arrangements are different, beam will take entire load. Here the, the shear wall loads are distributed, the frame, frame walls are distributed. Like you take your matchbox and press it, see it takes, though it is a very thin, but it takes a huge amount of load before it gets uh, deflected or uh, breaks. So that kind of a, uh, the concept adopted in the wall and uh, slab arrangement, it is uh, even though it is a 150 thick wall, it can go up to 10 floors. That kind of uh, rigidity is offered by the shear wall construction. Next comes to that many of the problem of our uh, farm works. La large, especially large span, you need a, a huge amount of farm work to be uh, used to support the heavy thicker slabs. But some of the technology has come that you need not have a farm work. You put a, a, a steel members as a part of the slab, like a reinforcement. Uh, so you are considering the uh, base with the uh, steel sheet and 
reinforcement that it still act as a uh, form work you just pour the concrete on the top of it and finish it you can move to one floor to other floor immediately the precast concrete panel 50 mm thick with the integral structural members and special lattice girders from permanent form work uh, double precast concrete panel for all upper floor slab is made by casting place concrete to form a dia uh, di diaphragm for seismic load and the lower office formed by precast slab technology again i will tell you some uh, difference in the uh, high rise building and the tall buildings the tall buildings we consider more than uh, 30 floors are the tall buildings uh, the, the behavior of the tall buildings are slightly different and uh, all over the world these all the engineers marvels and they have contributed highly to achieve this what is the uh, difference or trends in tall building it increased the construction speed it was predominantly in the building due to strength high strength concrete and lightweight uh, filler walls easy to fabricate and nowadays high strength concrete is mainly used in sustained indian conditions most of the tall buildings are constructed with the composite steel and concrete construction if you go taller that become a difficult to lift the concrete with a, a large weight so you adopt the steel member fabricated at the bottom and uh, lifted at the top and placed it uh, immediately so that your construction become easier and faster high strength concrete is pumped at very high level even 150 meter height you can pump the concrete currently 140 mpa concrete is available and 200 mpa is under development in australia and canada advanced form work system for vertical element facilitate floor to floor cycle four to five days you can imagine within a month you can have six floors the current form of working is fully automated and gives excellent finishes and with less unskilled labor forces the structural elements are constructed as monolithic wall and floor system as i explained and no need for the finishes or brick work filling and multiple system of jump form sets central core lifts and outer peripheral area developed for extruding and tall buildings every each level is not constructed at the same time the central is raised and after raising the adjacent sides are constructed the it offer platform for multiple level and aligning team for producing constant quality throughout the project the facades like if you see this uh, tower absolute tower the inside you can construct but the outside facades twisting tilting all those uh, thing uh, is not that easy so we need to think before and how to create that facades Uh, along with the main con uh, construction and uh, the large deflection in the building has to be reduced using uh, slouching damper uh, like 400 meter of oak tank 510 capacity bring down the building top deflection to permissible limit by using the damper which uh, uh, swing to the opposite direction when it get deflected uh, use of drywall construction to increase the construction speed and marble tile insulation adhesive screed these all the things will uh, speed up the uh, construction of the floor and walls sometime now it become an, a must for using building information modeling in all high rise buildings it is to uh, deduct the clashes structural drawing plumbing drawing fire drawing all those drawings are put and check for any uh, overlap or clash in that one can be easily deducted and each service is executed by a specialist agency with uh, perfect finish schedules so these are the new technologies and trends used so when they think of special consideration the material pumping and cycle time rcc high performance high strength scc precast steel composite all these things are necessary auto climbing and mywan form work which i am going to discuss being virtual reality and digital technologies all kind of a load uh, need to be considered Uh, the wind is going to be the predominant the we have to check the wind tunneling effect in the construction before prior to that to optimize the structural requirement facades and non structural element electrical plumbing and fire fighting system at uh, different floor levels need to be considered lift and vertical transport that is you have to quick uh, transportation possible having 100 floor uh, building you take uh, uh, 20 minutes to reach from ground to top nobody is going to buy it so we need a very fast vertical transport 
at the same time health and lifestyle should be uh, made such a way that it you are in the ground uh, ground floor only so this is a, a slurching damper when the building uh, um, deflecting other direction due to electrically operated weight hung from the uh, top is going to uh, swing in the other direction which will reduce the deflection of the building within the permissible limit according to that we have to design that this damper and uh, otherwise you will sway for about uh, two, two and a half, one meter left and one meter right it become like a sitting on the tree which is not desirable so slurching damper will uh, reduce the uh, the uh, deflection uh, that is a uh, sway effect so for, to achieve this you need to plan all the aspects of the building what is the geometry we create and shape a basement how many floors and uh, typical floor how much whether each floor is same or different like you are seeing the picture each floor is different levels or different shapes wind tunnel effect large floor span and core wall uh, transport uh, transfer girder and uh, transfer slab at what level you are going to introduce uh, the utility purpose floors, mass damp dinner and testing, facades for the tall building, MEP, firefighting and lift. These all, each one need to be planned for the tall buildings. Uh, in the tall building, as I said, the shear wall or core wall, where the uh, your staircase, lift and other things are going to connect, that gives a core wall uh, design. The core wall is constructed first then all around the buildings are constructed subsequently so you are having adequate space for the uh, your uh, concrete uh, movements are possible so accordingly we plan which floor has to be constructed first then we can construct it next like uh, staggering the construction activity allow you to get extra space for maneuver and pouring the concrete as i already mentioned you need to have a solid uh, vertical transport that is a lift arrangement system. Your lift should uh, have a speed 6 to 8 meter per second to achieve waiting period of 30 seconds at each floor. So if you are having a 20 floor, 20 into 30, uh, 5 minutes only you can take to reach from top to bottom. Otherwise it will stop everywhere and all other uh, problems that become a life become a mo more difficult when you are traveling up and down. So you need to be uh, well organized to have a good kind of a vertical transport. So as I mentioned, I was involved in one uh, construction at Amarava, the capital city of Andhra Pradesh. Of course, now it is stopped. And we are using many uh, uh, G plus 12 construction using my one formwork with the M30 grade concrete uh, SCC and aluminum formwork, in-house uh, in tower cranes. A static boomer like uh, floor cycle was seven days to achieve so what is that first jump form operations all your things removing and fixing will take a lot of time your uh, uh, form work will get opened and move to the next floor immediately clamp and the concrete can be poured that is why you are achieving the cycle time of uh, three to five days in instructions so uh, the framework of hanging panel if you think, if you see here, the vertical panel itself, it, uh, you can fix it. There is no separate. The clamps are fixed onto the wall with the tight uh, uh, net arrangement. The release form are claimed to next level. The closed form panel for the next level concrete cycle uh, time of four days and uh, can be achieved. Uh, this is called rail climbing uh, farm work in the residential construction also possible so all your different materials are uh, casted and it is uh, uh, the very uh, difficult arrangements are made and this has been operated hydraulically move from bottom to top i'll show you one video how this uh, rail climb farm is Thank <laughs> you. 
So now you could have understood to some extent the central core is raised and the other uh, sides are raised later and from that the central core you take support of pouring concrete any other uh, moving around space is adequate. So this is the uh, Perry is a techno uh, one company is providing the rail climbing system to many uh, uh, parts of the world and uh, they have been a very innovative and providing a uh, jump uh, rail climbing system which will be more useful for conducting the uh, tall buildings. Now, from moving from tall building to some steel constructions, what is possible in the steel? Uh, the steel is a very high strength material, lightweight uh, requirement to use and a lot of innovations possible to shape, different shape is possible because it's lightweight, durability, elegant shapes, advanced connections, composite constructions, these are all possible by use of uh, steel constructions. Uh, it's not recent, few years ago, the China has completed 15 days building, subsequently 50 a span of 19 days in 2015. Uh, uh, economical, a uh, lot of uh, innovation possible using steel constructions. Each floor has been casted separately and brought to the side and just quickly uh, uh, lifted and placed it in a location. You can see this video. Okay, you could have understood how this kind of a fast, it is not constructed at the site, it is factory made, everything is ready, move to the site and just quickly assemble. Recently for the corona time also China had made quick uh, hospitals, this kind of a technology. So it is, this is in a, uh, even in India, in Salem, some hospitals being constructed using still uh, innovative technologies. So this become a, nowadays, uh, picking up are common in many countries. You all know that the pre linear buildings in is a factory building, but now it has become a residential building too. Uh, your uh, steel plate is purchased high strength 340 or 4, 410 MPS steel, high strength steel plates are purchased and it is made to the required shape, uh, whether eye section, not necessarily the uh, same uh, depth, 
with the, the depth varying according to the bending moment and shear force and uh, you can see the factory building the thin member is adequate to support a large uh, building even if the crane movement separately and this kind of a elegant looking and uh, very uh, high strength steel thin plates are purchased and it is cut and uh, welded uh, bl sand blasting to smoothen the surface painted immediately with all process it made and uh, sent to the site and constructed uh, nowadays all factory buildings are uh, making it even the residential if you can see commercial office industrial process uh, warehouse car parking residential and all uh, malls and cities can be made use of pb structures the another concept is called steel flow system as i said uh, it's a combination of steel and concrete the main steel beams instead of concrete uh, steel beam is uh, uh, casted in a factory we can provide uh, holes to reduce this weight and as required basis uh, very elegant good looking uh, beams that these holes are used for the uh, services all those ducts can be inserted easily into these holes and uh, once it is welded with the main beams uh, on the top the concrete is poured and quickly finished without any uh, form work this is a speed flooring system the integral part of the final concrete and steel there is no, we are not removing the steel at later stage these are pre galvanized high tensile steel the joists are roll form punch pressed and slotted in a fully computerized machine the joist depth and the concrete thickness are vary depending upon the span imposed load and other functional consideration and customized manufacturing it is on requirement on as requirement basis the another is called light gauge a combination of light gauge and uh, modular uh, walls that can be used fast and quick construction is possible this light gauge steel is a part of construction it is manufactured at uh, a factory along uh, that any infill wall panels expanded polystyrene or your concrete particle boards kind of a panels are used along with the thing many uh, construction sites are used one of the builder says they are providing a roughly around uh, 550 to 600 square feet area at a rate of 1000 rupees per square feet with this residential buildings so that kind of a cost reduction is possible panels this is the combination of speed floor uh, light gauge steels even the uh, hot roll steel like ismbi isms all combinations can be used to create a residential buildings next i move on to the concrete steel composite uh, structures uh, like human being how it, their uh, bones muscles flesh are integrated to form a strength to the uh, human the steel and composite pillar it all uh, individual elements are uh, connected each other and make it as a stronger and uh, combined behavior which makes the building possible in a shorter duration the human skeleton is framework that supports the human body like steel and composite structure your skeleton body is a steel in composite in uh, composite structure muscles are connected to the bone to control the movement of the body same way the shear studs is a small projection is kind of a uh, nut or any other even angle is possible shear connectors are to be uh, made that is called shear studs the shear studs act like your muscles that way uh, connect the concrete flesh and skin and metal decks will create cover to the composite structure that makes aesthetic and beautiful buildings so when a uh, concrete and steel composite can be compared to the human being. when you independently if you load it it will have a slip in between the concrete and steel which will reduce the strength by provision of the shear stud over there which will increase the bending and shear uh, capacity and it become a monolithic and composite actions in shear and bending and uh, this become a stronger material when we say uh, re uh, steel it is not a rebars it is like a structural steel i section channel section kind of a structural steel and co uh, uh, concrete is combined so the shear stud that is a kind of a nut arrangement is provided welded with the steel uh, element which will uh, bond with the concrete to act monolithically you can see the i section is providing shear stud and concrete is placed on the top so even the 
composite slab is possible with the shear stud. The uh, steel plates are uh, provided at the bottom directly with the uh, link with the uh, shear stud. The concrete is poured. Even the columns and beams can be composites. We will discuss one by one. Using metal shear uh, ducts and we are pouring the concrete on that, no form of is required. So you can see below, your shear uh, metal ducts are uh, fitted on the steel uh, beams and shear struts are welded all over and just on the top the concrete is poured. This without the form work, you can complete the concrete and you can move to the next level. This is the advantage of doing a composite construction. In, for the composite beams, either you can have a I beam on the top uh, slab or the I section is uh, both the side of the I section is filled with the concrete or the I section is buried inside the concrete and different combinations are possible using the steel and concrete. Only thing is you have to cater the shear stud it become a it effectively you can use economical you no know, higher stiffness less deflection and then still higher resistance to fire so this is the behavior of the composite instead of a separate separate bending diagram when it become a combined it will become one uh, enhanced steel uh, bend, uh, resistance similar to the beam even the concrete columns either uh, uh, i section or any uh, steel is embedded into the concrete or outer is the steel, inner is the concrete. So different combinations again possible. With this combination, steel, high strength steel is used. So which will increase its stiffness as a so different forms, I, I plus T, L, all possible kind of a section can be embedded into the concrete. Nominal uh, steel reinforcements are, or ties are provided on, on the periphery. So another thing is called diagrid structures that is when you want to have a large span and internally uh, free space uh, only outer columns are used uh, internally you can fill with the, uh, in the, uh, the panels or interiors you can cover up with the large space. So diagrid systems are common in all high rise buildings. The term diagonals and grids. Why diagonal? Because when you have a rectangular the openings in the uh, floor is become difficult. So in the diagonal, you have a, a sufficient space for giving openings of windows, doors, etc. So this is why diagonals are formed. And the diagonal behavior is something different from rectangular uh, connections behavior. So it's more efficient forms. So we are using in diagonal forms. And structural system that single thickness in nature and gains the structural integrity through use of triangularization. Diagonals are particular form of space stress and can be planar, twin, or even multiple curvature. It consists of perimeter grid made of series of triangular system. They often use crystalline forms or curvature to increase the stiffness. Perimeter diagonal lateral loads and building and we are used to support the floor edges. I will show you one uh, uh, video which I was involved in creating a 50 story building at again Amaravati with the diagonal systems and how efficiently used. The depth of the foundation is 4 meter. You can imagine what is 4 meter uh, raft and that is the kind of a thing we used for 50 floors and only outer panel central core. So internally we have to uh, fill it with the interiors.
So you could have imagined how it is possible with 50 floors without any uh, lifting, automatic lifting, no interior walls or uh, internal walls. This is all managed by the interior panels and other things. So the different geometries of the diagrids are possible, whether it is a tapered, tilted, twisted or straight. It's all easily possible with the outer layer is different. Uh, uh, steel members with the heavy uh, diagonal actions and uh, internal members are, it, if you see this twisted, tilted, the vertical members are straight, only the horizontal members are different angles, different length and which makes that after covering the building it looks as a uh, tilted or twisted. So this is one of the example how to create a, such a tall building, the two legs of steel which has been created from that the, each floor levels are different modified according to the architect requirement shapes and uh, the inclusive. if you see the structure it's the very vertical uh, elements are created from the some uh, lateral uh, steel elements are created like a box type and after covering with the concrete or aluminium panel or any other uh, material uh, final looks like this but it is not a, a different layer created it is of one vertical members will carry the load and the horizontal member will transfer the load to the vertical member and final lift, lift uh, look like it is all zigzag uh, 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 floors. You can see the this slab is in this building is inclined. So such kind of a uh, twist or inclined is possible with the diagrids. Diagrid like a bird nest and it has been um, subsequently covered with the different uh, uh, cladding and makes it as a, as if it is tilted and the beauty is even the glass uh, fitted outside because of the twist it doesn't break that kind of a rigidity has been added to the building let me quickly go about the digital technologies in construction and i will take another 15 minutes to complete as i already in the, uh, uh, discussed there are many digital technologies adopted in the constructions which you will discuss one by one uh, what are these technology? 3D concrete printing or artificial intelligence automation, uh, uh, automatic digital construction, drones in uh, construction, 3D scanner, virtual reality, augmented reality, wearable technology, RFID, building information modeling, the internet of things, robotic in construction, automatic procurement of material, computer design, mobile technology. I have listed so many digital technologies adopted in construction. So why to use the digital technology, the shortage of uh, skilled labor, the client needs, speed and quality construction, the technology advancement making us to uh, get into that, innovative solution development, low costing uh, methods and automation, high capacity plant and machine. And you can imagine 300 ton weight can be carried by the trailer, that kind of high capacity digging or lifting, all things are possible better control and uh, reduce wastage just in time constant you are not going to the purchase the material stacking into your yard as i said the app is available you order it the deliver it in as in when required that kind of a just in time concept reduction of co uh, complexity in high volume construction tall buildings are possible only by digital technology you cannot uh, get away without digital technology to think of tall buildings so automation in constructions which I am not going to emphasize, every material procurement, every plant operation, every design and planning, all things become a part of automatic digital constructions and uh, I will share this uh, PPT, you can always easily leisurely go through, it is not very difficult, there are many activities taking place with the automation. So already I discussed, pre-cost construction is the 
uh, one of the things for uh, computer uh, everything is controlled by computer your construction is uh, con uh, completed and at the factory level you can transport and fix it as required even one block like a toilet block can be casted and brought to the site or wall panels or uh, the one full element of uh, like a, a rooms can be made mass production is possible your all your quality control can be assured in the precast because it's a fa factory made curing casting everything is uh, become uh, easy and uh, faster you can construct uh, automated precast as i said there are three uh, different levels the basic level planning and uh, manufacturing at factory and uh, bringing it to the site and casting these are three different level and uh, everything is can be computer controlled and uh, it it become a uh, less human in, uh, intervention so that things become faster quality control and uh, any kind of a overlapping is avoided the latest in technology is 3d concrete printing for future constructions unlike your paper printed uh, in a 2d the one layer another layer it become a 3d concept 3d is nowadays become very common only thing is that uh, invention of the materials is become uh, challenging the uh, the material should be uh, cost effective design flex flexible and reducing environmental effect so this kind of uh, 3d concrete printing method is the fabricating residence building in 2d layers one hour another and it become faster china the constructed in 24 hours of building kind of a uh, new technology uh, la la 3 4 months back i think from uh, uh, iraq or, or israel they have constructed a one large building g plus uh, one is using the concrete uh, printing technology so it is a uh, uh, what is the speciality the concrete is special and the machineries are special it will give durability speed and uh, cost i'll just show you this video So the challenge is the design mix. The material size should be one to two mm aggregate. It should be flowable through these nozzles, and uh, it should uh, dry up before the another layer of, uh, is uh, uh, laid on the previous layer. Some kind of a special quality construction materials required. The only thing is still it is uh, uh, only the uh, the tension or the uh, inclined or moment cannot be taken by these uh, members. Uh, so. We are going to uh, further research more to get a suitable material to construct even uh, flat uh, elements. So these are the things are coming up new and IITs are doing a lot of research on this uh, 3D printing materials, technologies. You just to computerize everything. You are not going to be the uh, manually allowing anything to be moved. The computer will control the movement of the gun and it is any shape can be created as required by the architect. The computer data design, civil engineering, all students and uh, in many softwares are available to do many activities of design, planning, constructions, all those things are computerly controlled and computer aided design is uh, three decades back it become a uh, kind of a new uh, topic, now it become a day to day life. 
there are plenty of software available for management design modeling water tank quality control geotechnical gps water distribution highways green building and psc girders uh, uh, other offshore foundation design any field you take there are plenty of software available we are to, we one cannot uh, master in all one has to select the field and uh, get more uh, information about the softwares Uh, as i said building information modeling is the very uh, important uh, aspect in all dubai projects is a part of a contract one cannot execute without being uh, a model because all your structural aspects fire aspects plumbing aspect electrical aspects all are put in one uh, drawing and the overlapping is uh, verified and Uh, the execution uh, engineer will uh, take out from this one and execute it and uh, updated drawings are again uploaded immediately so no question of uh, old version drawing being executed there are every time they come out with the new versions with advanced uh, concept the bim is the backbone of now uh, tall building constructions one cannot ignore it it is all virtually seen and uh, imagine how it will come in the final state So robots are become a common in uh, construction it was predicted that in 2015 all human being will be replaced with the robot for the brick laying or demolition or welding all such any manpower activities can be converted into robotics the hardin uh, hardin robotics are already capable of laying several weeks of brick work in 48 hours with 3d concrete plans accordance with its term precise and layer each bricks so it is automated and like a car manufacturing your building is can be manufactured using robotics in all kind of a construction activities are uh, uh, can be uh, used robots drones uh, you are all aware nowadays become common in marriage all itself and drones are controlled unmanned aerial vehicle with the camera fitted on it and can be remotely uh, controlled it can survey the areas in jungle forest water body mountain any difficult area where human cannot reach your drone can reach and take the photograph that can be fed into the computer immediately it will take out the quantities cut fill and uh, all kind of requirements can be taken out in short notice even for the inspection of power line and coal mines are possible where we human cannot reach every floor and uh, take the information any cracks any defects in the power line can be easily closely uh, reach and take photograph and send it to you rfid radio frequency it sends a signal and get the information and you can use it uh, apply it on the construction for example our patel uh, sardar patel statue in gujarat it is made but it has got number of parts each uh, leg to head each one has got different part so from uh, manufacturing and to till the time reach the site the rfid is fixed onto that one can track the each part and whether it is any unwanted part come first or like that you can always track so rfid is become a part, uh, in engineering aspects one can identify the parts with the your mobile itself or it can locations and the part number all the things can be identified radio frequency identification it contain logistic information data defects vendor all what possible things are available in the rfid 3d scanner the building need not to be uh, uh, measure and taken the, uh, the 3d scanner at 300 degree places you can place it and take photograph overlapping sir eliminated and finally the entire drawing can be generated without uh, having any measurement this automatically take all the measurements through the camera and it uh, uh, identify the overlaps and eliminates with the computer application the com complete building can be uh, drawing can be created using 3d scanner 3d studio before construction many of the items can be incorporated in a studio like your earlier movie used to be taken in the studio now the construction uh, activities can be Uh, viewed in the studio and add all kind of uh, facilities uh, to uh, enhance its uh, features and view it accordingly this 3d studios virtual reality another technology before constructing you can create a uh, uh, model and view it with the 3d uh, specs 
and you can see any uh, difficulties, color problem or uh, any overlapping, all kind of a uh, thing through walk through and virtually you can feel that how the building will look, how the uh, things are improved, you can uh, modify it immediately before construction, that is VR. Augmented reality, once it constructed, how does it look? So you can rotate and see, for example, you want to buy a shoe, you need not to uh, see only plain drawing, you can rotate and see all sides and then you can place the order like that. The augmented reality, one can uh, see the different parts through your computer without uh, uh, seeing that and uh, you can always modify as required basis. Wearable technologies, many things you are not going to be uh, using paper and pen, your uh, hands itself it can open, the wearable technology is getting uh, popular now, it can be applicable in the construction. As I already mentioned, Internet of Things, all your services are connected in your home, house and you can operate from the remote place and uh, everything is interlinked, that is Internet of Things. A small satellite for 5G and 6G, 6G so this next frontier of uh, satellite, low earth orbit satellites can be used and um, it can mobile brand, uh, broadband, massive mechanical type communication and ultra reliable low latency communications are possible using small satellites. So cloud storage, I am not going to emphasize all your data. When you are using mobile, you can't store all data. You can always store it in the cloud and you can retrieve using your mobile. So cloud based data, large amount of data required for construction, whether structural drawing, plumbing drawing, electrical drawing, or site investigation, all photographs taken, everything can be monitored where uh, the uh, sensors are fitted or anything, can, uh, data, data can be stored and taken out. Many of the vehicles are used can be remotely controlled vehicle and uh, your, uh, even the driverless plants are possible nowadays and driverless plant any difficult area you need not to go with the human being and it can operate it separately and uh, outputs are monitored and uh, your fuel consumption monitor any other uh, movements are monitored optimization of material machineries and manpower so the things you are a uh, lot of uh, materials going waste and uh, unwanted material procurement can be rectified using uh, uh, material machinery manpower procurement action. Uh, once the level of the uh, inventory is brought down, the computer triggers the uh, placing of order automatically and procure the material. That is the advantage. Spatial measurements, we are using electronic distance measurement and global positioning systems. But now it's a light detecting and ranging leader is uh, laser scanning technology used for uh, uh, connecting thousands of points and creating a contours etc by spatial measurements and geofencing is another uh, activity that is you need not construct a fencing or boundary wall you just mark it on the map that itself shows if any intruder comes the alarm can be uh, ring without anything so this is the uh, spatial uh, fencing, it's very effectively can be used and uh, uh, this is a new technology. Bioinformation, all workers, the blood pressure and weight or uh, is uh, temperature all can be monitored, their presence, absence can be uh, monitored from remote whether he is working or is the, uh, absent from the site can be controlled. All your tendering process nowadays, uh, electronic tendering, it is uploaded in the website. One has to check and uh, apply no uh, kind of a intervention of the any authorities to uh, stop the tendering. Okay, this is a e-tendering process. Mobile technology, as I already mentioned, enough of technology has been come up in the uh, using a mobile. There are various apps that are concrete estimation, design and uh, quick civil concrete design, reinforcement calculator kind of uh, apps are available. One has to upload the app and use it effectively for the respective requirement. The artificial intelligence in construction become a many way. The recent breakthrough in speech recognition, a Bihari working in Tamil Nadu may not knowing the language, but when he speaks, it automatically convert and give the information. Similarly, the person who is uh, wanting it, it can uh, even if he speak Tamil, that will convert into other language and give the news. So like a, a speech recognition, 
and deep uh, learning all kind of the recent advancements are helpful to the construction industry so this is called speech recognition many un uneducated people can effectively use it uh, the lot many applications in, uh, in civil engineering because the any direct calculations are uh, always possible with the computer but if it is a any uh, experienced person to analyze it with this uh, uh, capacity the same thing can be fed into the artificial intelligence or the expert system those kind of things can be incorporated and adopted for the civil engineering purpose there are many logics applicable in various fields of civil engineering the last one is the bio concept in biomimicry concept in building whatever you want to construct or develop as a student you should think of that the biologically available the concept is bio means life and mimic means copy copy so biomimicry science are not imitating the nature's best biological biological idea to solve human problem it is a new disciplinary and it is become a, a very interesting there are a lot of websites available one can become member and get lot of ideas uh, one, one example suppose you want to develop a pump you think of a human pump it is weighing 250 to 350 g and it pumps 7500 liters per day and non stop till the time one person uh, expires and in 20 minutes it pumps everything it is a decomposable very less energy required to operate and it's a contraction and expansion action when you think of pump it is heavy weight and every time we are advancing the new technology in the pump and bringing out the uh, new things so it when the technology reaches to similar to your hard pump works until you have lot of scope for improvement so when you think of your natural it is already 10 to 30 million species time tested in the over millions of years so we need to take help of this uh, uh, how does the nature works for different things for example tube light works or uh, uh, firefly firefly give an idea how this things uh, light is emitted the same technologies nowadays uh, cfl or any any other lighting system has developed like the many technologies are there this is a se separate subject i can talk for one and a half hours separately on this biomimicry lot of new materials are available in the nature for example low temperature uh, ceramics is a very uh, advanced functionally efficient smart and intelligent material so a lot of natural materials are highly efficient materials for example the uh, lotus leaf the lotus leaf when water falls on it it will not uh, only come out it will also remove the dirt over it so that is the kind of a coating uh, which is uh, lay, uh, put on that so whenever you are painting a car in or your walls you can apply the titanium oxide which is similar to the effect of uh, lotus and that uh, will clean the uh, thing when you are high rise building where you can't reach out you can always set coat it will behave like a self cleaning glass and prevent the water from sticking or dust sticking onto that there are many structures similar to the bio structure spider web honeycomb tall trees birds nest termite mount these are all the example there is one building in zimbabwe it was constructed based on the uh, spider uh, that is uh, uh, what do you call uh, termite mount concept in the uh, jungle in the desert the temperature is going to be very high the, the less uh, uh, like a cool air state bottom hot air goes up whenever it goes through this kind of a vent uh, uh, ventures it automatically cools 4 to 5 degree inside that will give a less heat load on the building so this same concept is adopted this is another concept adopted in the dubai in the building rotates to the uh, sun according to the sun's positions and give less heat and uh, become a energy efficient building this is in a desert you can see the uh, cactus and the same cactus concept is adopted in the building at qatar that is municipal uh, affairs and agriculture building this is another concept is called uh, venus basket sponge is the same concept is adopted in the building and you know that uh, any tall trees with the less uh, root that resist any heavy wind and uh, all kind of a load so our foundation is going to be similar to the tree concept tree root concept which will reduce and uh, resist all kind of earthquake wind all loads bio bricks we are normally baking the brick using uh, heat that is going to produce carbon dioxide and instead of that you use bacteria something like your milk adding bacteria and become a curd 
you are adding bacteria into the brick and dried it for 7 days to 10 days that become hard due to the bacterial action and those bricks are uh, 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 environmental friendly you can be used your uh, farm work can be like your skin hybrid bio structures which will be any shape you can bring out and uh, any uh, thing without any uh, restriction in the shapes and become a more uh, environmental friendly with all that the whatever you produce uh, whether it's a, a new material or anything sustainable the most important thing is it should be sustainable as well as the environmental friendly one cannot produce any good material without environmental consideration it should not spoil the water air uh, soil and the, the environment and uh, it should uh, protect the uh, nature and energy conservation solar energy is possible water conservation uh, recycling of material low emitting material reduce binding construction less environmental distribution side development so i have come to the end the creators are builders we are the builders we create the uh, building and dedicated to the idea of building a beautiful goal so different and so superior to the present one that the creator of the generation will go down in history as the revolutions who ushered in the golden age of mankind like your taj mahal built many years back but still we are remembering it those kind of creations by the civil engineer will go to the golden age of mankind at the end students you are all uh, going to be the future of our country and we you should have a more uh, self confidence and i quote this example a bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of the branch breaking it because our trust is not on the branch but on its own wing always believe in yourself gain knowledge be yourself as a great personality and different and uh, you should able to achieve something in the uh, society and contribute more to the common people with that i want to thank you and uh, any questions i am ready to answer hello participants do you have any questions sorry sir i will little overshoot my time but uh, no issues sir. sir with pleasure sir any questions participants you can put forth your query now any questions from the participant side please ping now okay sir i think so no questions from the participant side yeah i hope uh, okay. somewhat that something different which i could introduce so let them go through my ppt and uh, if you have anything or uh, they can develop on the many points which i highlighted sir Uh, now it's the time for vote of thanks. It's my immense pleasure to thank our honourable chief guest, Dr. Colonel P. Nallathambi Sir, Managing Director and Principal uh, Consultant uh, for Shakti Consultancy Chennai, for sharing uh, a very useful and innovative concepts among us today, which really makes ourselves to explore and understand more for the latest advancement in construction technology and its integration, uh, such as green technology. modular construction techniques dealing with the decreased labor force and increased material cost and even for the high safety equipments as well as the common futuristic sustainability in the construction industry sir so when seeing all the information from your side we have uh, grasped the very very highly technical uh, latest technologies from the construction side and more once again i thank you sir and yeah, more thank you sir thank you thank you sir yeah. and more on behalf of the uh, management of hindustan college of engineering and technology and on behalf of the department of civil engineering and on my own behalf i would like to thank our beloved hod dr k akil madam for keep dynamically supporting us for such upon opportunities thank you so much ma'am as well i wanted to thank our principal and ceo sir dr k karunakaran for his new dimensional guidance in every aspect at last i would like to thank all the participants as well as uh, my dear students and my dear colleagues who have been participated today for making this program to be a more successful one thank you all uh, sir shall we wind the session sir yeah thank you so much
ఓకే సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ యూ కెన్ గో వి ఫ్రమ్ ద మీటింగ్ సార్ ఓకే పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఐ విల్ బి పోస్టింగ్ ది ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లింక్ యు కెన్ టేక్ అండ్ యు కెన్ యూస్ ఫర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్